what is my software doing? This question is answered by looking at the logs. So I'm just going to show how you query logs using AWS CloudWatch. There's many other different types, but let's just have a look at CloudWatch. So in the CloudWatch web console, a bit confusing, you go into CloudWatch and there is all these other little things here. What you want to do is click logs. Next thing you want to do is choose the correct log group. Now be aware that your log group might be, not be listed here. Like for example, let's have a look at Bugzilla. The next thing you'll be seeing is streams and be thinking, what the hell is streams? Well, since we have a couple of instances running Bugzilla, they stream to uh, CloudWatch and they appear as different things. You you might not what know which, like, you know, since it's a load balancer, you might not know which instance um, to look at here. So the easiest way to go forward here is to go search log group and that gets them all and then, you know, click one hour to see all of them in the last hour. It's a little slow, give it some time. But anyway, the cool thing here now, which you should notice is that this is a typical access log thing. You can filter them using a filtering, filter pattern, but since this is like this particular uh, log has a pattern, you know, like the first part is the IP and then the date comes in the fourth column. Um, doing a query, a structured query here is a bit, um, is a bit painful, especially if you add another field. In this sort of structure, I, I usually just do like a full set, a full text search, which is slow. Okay. This shows me, for example, everything where the sort of ping checker was hitting Bugzilla. So that's kind of useful information. If I want to see the context, I go show and stream. So the next type of uh, logs you can get is the JSON. These are the ones I much, much, much prefer. And let me show you what they look like. For example, here, okay, just so you know, this is my dev profile and this is my demo profile. So when you're using the web console, if you're not using the CLI, use different profiles to be able to change between different environments very, very easily. So let's choose one here. This, for example, is using a uh, JSON style. So now searches should become a, a little bit easier. Let's search for JSON messages with the log level as error. So the search is faster and it's easier to like drill down into stuff. So, so, and the cool thing about CloudWatch is that it supports these JSON queries. Awesome. Now, just to finish off, I don't expect you to use this, but ideally I recommend doing this because it's faster than the web console is to use the CLI. <laughs> so I've written like, for example, some software to search the logs and then get me the context. But let's just focus on using the AWS CLI. I hope you have installed and I hope you have it um, set up with different profiles like I have. Um, so again, these are the same sort of queries here. I can use logs, filter log, I, I, I name the log group name. Notice that um, the web console has some sort of caveats. Like for example, if I went back here, and I search for a Lambda. It doesn't show up. You have to go AW, you have to have that, you have to have that namespace, otherwise it just doesn't find it. And another thing to watch out for is, okay, so this is just showing me the pings that have been logged. Um, it's a bit fussy when it comes to quoting. Notice the quotation here. Like for example, if I didn't have that in here, it probably wouldn't understand it at all. It needs to be quoted. So fix, pretty easy, put quotes in there. Now the, um, now the, uh, the way of querying JSON ones is a little bit more complicated. But just to demonstrate, I'm using um, JQ to pass out the 
the the JSON messages so that I can I can see them better or you know I can again error messages are usually encoded in JSON and then you might need to pass it again but just as a rule of thumb JSON is faster to query and if you use line based you're basically doing a slow full text full text search don't want to do that so okay i've shown you how to do it with the cli i'll look at look at the description i've shown you how to do it in the web console there's other little features in the web co console that are quite fun like for example you can set up filters and when that filter gets hit like you know error foobar then you can get notified with an sns but anyway i've shown you how to do it with the web console i've shown you how to do it in the cli Please, if you have any problems, let me know about looking in logs. This is what you all need to be doing. If, it, if it's your app, you should be watching your logs. You can't rely solely on the DevOps guy to read your logs and report back to you. You need to be tailing, watching, um, eventing off your logs in order to make sure the application is running well and answering all your questions about what FUBAR application is doing. Please like the video, please subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.